Hello everybody, welcome back. This is our fourth grade unit one fourth lesson um, and we're still talking about place value and now we're focusing on how we read these bigger numbers and uh, we're working into the millions now boys and girls. So buckle up, here we go. Um, if you haven't already, can you go ahead and grab your secret code cards that we cut out earlier this week? Um, if you can't find them, it's not a huge deal, but it will be helpful, I think, for a lot of kids. So go ahead, get that organized, and then hit play when you're ready. Okay, so this is a little table that's helping us understand um, how we read these larger numbers. Um, there is a pattern to it, and that's what we're talking about right now. So I'll read this out loud, and then we'll talk about it. The pattern to millions chart shows that each digit in the number has a place value name. When we read a number, we do not say the place value name. We say the group name. We say the word million after the digits in the millions group. We say the word thousand after the digits in the thousands group. We do not say the word ones after the digit in the ones group. So this is the ones group, the thousands group, and the millions group right here. To read greater numbers, say each group of digits as if they were in the hundreds, tens, and ones place, and then add the special name for that group. So we're gonna practice, um, and here's where we're gonna use our secret code cards. So um, it says use your whole number secret code cards to make the group of digits as shown below. Put them in the space on the reading millions frame below to read them. So for this, I'm gonna get my 20, my eight there's my 20 try to keep them sort of organized so 28,000 and then 374 so we like we said we don't say 374 ones we just say 28,000 374 and that's why they put the one in brackets because it's like you know it's ones but you don't say it's ones okay let's put these back so we're not dealing with a big old mess and then try the next one 123,000 so I'm going to get my 100 in the thousands place my 20 thousands place three 123,000, and then my 400, my 50, my 6. So 123,456. All right, let's put those back. Next number, 458, so 458,700, twenty. So 458,726. Okay. Back. There, there, there. This one. I'd like you to try to set it up. Same time I'm setting it up. All right, 654,321. 
And we are able to build these with our secret code cards, even though we only have like one set of each hundred, ten, and one, because they're not repeating digits in the hundreds place and hundred thousands place. I think they're doing that on purpose to help us out. Okay. 92,148. So 92,000. 100, my 100, there it is, 40, 8, 8, 92,148. Last one for this page right here, 789,000, so 780, 9,300, Twenty one. Okay. Now, if you want to keep these, if they're helpful for you to like understand the different values of these numbers, you're welcome to keep them out. I'm going to put mine away in my envelope so I don't lose them. So if you're putting yours away, take the time to put them away nicely so you don't have to spend a long time looking for them later. A moment, you know, roll your head a little bit from one side to the other, take a nice deep breath. Check in on your posture. Are you slouching a lot right now? Or are you sitting tall? Had any water recently? It's always good to ask yourself these questions. Put mine back in my envelope. Oops, don't want to lose that. Put mine back in my desk. All right. Go ahead and turn that page. Now we're gonna go ahead and write these numbers out in expanded form. So if you're normally the kind of person who has like pretty large handwriting, you're gonna probably have to write kind of small because look, we're dealing with hundreds, hundred thousands. So heads up, okay? So 32,568. So in the 10, 10 thousands place, 30,000 plus, 2,000 plus 500 plus 60 plus 8. Whew. So remember, expanded form is if someone stretched out a number so each place value was by itself, right? Okay, 820,149. So 800,000 plus, oops, I don't need that extra comma there, plus 20,000 plus, I'm gonna put zero there because there's nothing in the regular thousands place, but we are doing expanded form. If you don't put a zero there, it's still mathematically correct because adding zero doesn't change anything, right? So, plus 100 plus 40 plus nine. Four hundred thousand plus no ten thousand plus five thousand plus seven hundred plus sixty. Oh, we're in another space plus three. Okay, 
Try this one by yourself, see how you're doing. 700,000 plus no 10,000 plus 3,000 plus no hundreds plus 70 plus no ones. All right? Now we're putting these into standard form, so it's going to look like this. If you'd like to, you can use your whiteboard and put it in vertical form if that's helpful for you. So I see I have 24,817. In the 100,000th place, I have 700,000. In the 10,000th place, I have 5 ten-thousands. In the 1,000th place, I have 3,000, comma, 200. I have 90 and I have 6. Now, normally, if I saw an addition problem like this, I would not just be adding it across. I would put it in vertical form and go down. But because these are just in expanded form, just like we did up there, um, I can just squish it back. We stretched it out, and now we're snapping it back together. 300,000. Notice here. They didn't do that zero placeholder, so we just have zero ten thousands, three thousand, zero hundreds, ten, nine in the ones place. That could have that could have stumped somebody, so you know, gotta be careful. All right, eight hundred in the thousand or eight in the hundred thousands place. Four in the ten thousands place, zero in the thousands place, four in the hundreds place, eight in the tens place, and zero in the ones place. Now we're converting these to word form. So, ninety seven. Thousand three hundred twenty four. Make sure you're spelling four with that U in there because it's the number four. Running out of space there though, huh? All right, so this is six hundred thirty four thousand seven hundred thirty. Six hundred thirty four thousand seven hundred. Oh, I'm running out of space. Thirty. <laughs> Might even have to write smaller. Okay, go ahead and give these two a shot if you're feeling up for it. So that's 203,086. Okay, and the last one there, 520,401. Okay. Next one, 78,105. So we just write that out as we heard it, 78,105. One million. Now, I don't think we talked about it before, but after each three place value places, we do a comma, so. The millions begins after the second comma. So that means there's six zeros. 
starting from the decimal, 1, 2, 3, comma, 4, 5, 6, comma, 1. That's how I always write my million, because I don't want to be, you know, having the wrong number of zeros in there. 563,052. 563,000. No hundreds. 52. All right. So there's a Think Central activity to do today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.